how are we doing today guys thank you once again for joining me on viper 9 toy videos today i have from star wars vintage collection the book of boba fett tuscan warrior and massive uh i've oh wow i just realized that my my box has actually been properly crushed right there huh interesting Good thing that I'm opening it. Uh, on the back, it does have the picture of the Tuscan Warrior and the Massif, and then your contents of the box, so Gaffy Stick and the, the Warrior and, and Doggo. That's pretty much all that it comes with. So nothing, nothing too fancy. Let's go ahead and get that tape there cut. Ooh. Now this is only the second mold I think they've ever released for the Massif itself. Um, Throughout the years, there's the gaffy stick. They, they've only ever had one other massive, and the articulation on it, I think it had like one point of articulation, and it was the, the jaws that moved. Other than that, there was no, no articulation on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the massive first. Make sure my camera's actually focusing there. So it does have its jaw artic articulation, ball jointed neck, which actually has some really good articulation in it. Has, you know, ball jointed shoulders. And that's it. No, no ankle articulation on this little guy. So even though they finally articulated him, it's still extremely limited, which I thought it was at least going to have some, you know, from the picture, some elbow and, and ankle articulation, but it's still extremely limited. So that is minorly disappointing. The ball joints are kind of nice on that, but overall, he's still really, really power posed. So about the only difference is between this one and the, the vintage one is that you can actually move his head a lot more into different positions. Then, now let's go ahead and take a look at the Warrior Woman herself. She does have... Oh, so it is a single joint neck. Uh, if memory serves me right, they were saying this is the one of the Ray bodies that has been repurposed, which you kind of saw pop that head off there. You kind of see Ray's gown right there underneath all the blackness. So yeah, double, double joint neck. The shoulder articulation is extremely restricted due to the, the cowl that she's wearing. They do have a slit in it to kind of help a little bit, but it doesn't help too much. Does have a waist ball joint, it feels. Soft goods on the cape. Decent ball jointed hips, not too bad. Knee articulation's a little, little restricted. And then rocker ankles. Overall, I'm not too disappointed in her. Uh, that, that Ray mold is pretty decent. I don't know of how many of them I've actually opened, but I think it's a good reuse of some parts to, to get a really awesome figure into our hands. Oh, let's take a look at those wrists real quick. Does she have, okay, so she does have wrist rockers, uh, both horizontal, it looks no, no vertical on that, which eh, hurts the, the palm a little bit. But let's take a look, see how well she can hold her gaffy stick. But not not too bad. So there is your warrior woman. The yeah, I think it's a really good use of that that ray body. Um, and I'm super happy that I waited for this version. Even though I am a little bit disappointed in the massif, I'm still happy to have gotten this this particular doggo with with the warrior woman this one i believe was a target exclusive so if you're on the hunt for her keep an eye out on with that hitting shelves here pretty soon i would say oh wait does that have is that just in the knee okay so that's yeah that's just in the knee i thought maybe it was a thigh no she does have a thigh swivel as well sweet so yeah the posability on this particular figure should be pretty decent i'm gonna say right there guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it with Hit that like, smash the follow if you haven't already, and thank you for watching.